Sheamus is always looking for a fight when he's on the warpath. You better clear the way, fella. Backbreaker. Sheamus looking a little shaken here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. The bro kick is the perfect weapon for Sheamus to display all of his size, power, and agility. The Celtic Warrior just nails his opponent right in the face. Constructing the knee there. At six foot four and weighing 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior puts everything he has into devastating his opponent with the bro kick, making it the ultimate death blow. The Celtic Warrior's bro kick is an unbelievable strike. The pages of the WWE history books will show that the bro kick has served Sheamus very, very well at the WWE locker room's expense. Look out, he's on the oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Down with a face buster. What a stop. Good grief. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Hooked up. Oh, 1916. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotten garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. Sheamus has eyes to finish. Guys, charismatic is a term that often times gets thrown around when describing superstars. And Corey, tell me, where does Finn Balor rank on the charisma scale? Well, first things first, Cole, charisma doesn't win fights. Fists do. So remember that. Secondly, Finn Balor is among the most... Balor's got him hooked. Up and down, 1916. Speaking more on charisma, I'd agree with Corey's assessment of Balor. Simply put, he always has the audience hanging on his every movement. And that goes double when he competes as the demon. I mean, I've never seen an entire arena mimic a superstar's entrance. But that happens with Balor. Here he goes. <laughs> Why not? Here's a couple.
very decisive victory here tonight. Tag team, be there. These two guys are legit. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.